Well, here we go. I hope you have all fastened your seatbelts because it is going to be a bumpy ride. But hopefully our first season in charge of British Airways goes to plan. Hello, welcome to part two of Flight to the Prem. But hopefully I try and take British Airways from the tier 10 of the English Football League period all the way to the heights of the Premier League and hopefully go and win it and the start of the journey is now so we've got our first two games coming up we've got a home game against Yateley United and a away match against Brooke House but before that we've got some transfers to announce and I must warn you some of them are pretty good some of them not so good but they've got decent potential so we've signed quite a few players starting off with Duran Tabraham he is a 16 year old striker, two stars current ability, five stars worth of potential. Ignore the potential ability because at this current level, it doesn't really mean anything unless it goes on a, a prolific form of run. So at the moment, he is a, a currently a good player. Combined counties league division one, which is the league mid. So like, he'll be absolutely fine for us. Obviously, could improve a lot. So he could um, stay with us for, for quite a while for the moment. So he, he's, um, he's, in regen, so he hasn't played for anyone else, but he's come on a free transfer. All of these, I should say, have come on free transfers, apart from two loans, which we'll get on to in a minute. Then, next up, we've got, we've got Bobby Hill. He's a 15-year-old left-back, one-and-a-half-star current ability, five-star potential. Get a decent player for our league. Could improve a lot as well. We, well, he's, a, he's a, another free transfer, another one, another, like, new gen, regen, whatever you want to call him. Then Danny Hadley, he's a 16-year-old uh, goalkeeper, two stars of current ability, five stars potential. Again, a good goalkeeper for our R League, so and also could improve a lot. Again, another one who was a um, a free agent without a club. Then next signing, two loan signings is do first up Dominic Sinclair. He's a 22-year-old right back, one and a half stars of current ability, five stars of potential. Currently a is that our league? Yes, it is. Um, he has the he could he has the potential to be a leading player for our our league. So he probably won't make the step up to Division Nine if he happened to make his loan move permanent. He comes in from Harpenton down on loan for the entirety of this season. I think it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Yes, it is. Their next loan signing is Tom Chambers. He's a twenty-two year old. English left mid, two and a half stars current ability, five star potential. He's a good player for our league, but has the potential to be a good county league player, which I believe is Division 9. Current ability is, says he's a four and a half star player. I'm not seeing that on here, but I presume that's, I don't know what's going on there. He comes in on loan from Ellsbury Vale Dynamo, so hopefully he has a a cracking loan spell with us. I believe, is he out of contract? Yeah, he's out of contract next season. Most of these players are probably out of contract next season. Their next signing is Kevin McLaren. What if he, uh, what if a real player, actually? He is a 34-year-old English centre mid. Five stars of current ability, but, but he is down in Division 10, so tier 10. I, it's not Division 10, it's not FIFA Jack or EFC, whatever if you want to call it. He's a good, he's a, He's actually good enough for this tier 9, so he's arguably, he's too good for this league, so I'd, I'd say. Um, he's actually, um, has he been a manager? Have I missed something here? Who's he been manager of? I don't know who by, I don't know who he's manager of. But anyway, we signed him from, oh my god, he, he had a, a season break, so I presume he was manager of Shirtsey, possibly. I don't know, that seems a bit weird, but I assume he is a coach as well. So we signed him on a free transfer from Shirtsey. Also a playing experience at Kingstonian, Tooting and Mitchum, Hendon, Walton Casuals and Woking. So it's pretty much done the tour of the non-league circuit. Then last up, but not the least, is Esdras Omba. He's a 20-year-old centre-back, five stars of current ability. He's a currently a good player. For our division but potentially can make the step up to tier nine if we have to get there started off his career at yeovil town obviously 
went without a club for a good two, three seasons, but we have picked him up for on a free transfer. So hopefully he could be a very good player. So this is what the season preview is at the moment looks like. Currently predicted to finish 12th, which I'll completely agree with that because I'm not sure what kind of players bag shot have got. They've got no players. That seems a bit strange. We should be... I, I, I'd I, say... I reckon we can finish in the playoffs this year. But first... Should we take a look at our stadium? I think we, I think that's a very good idea. So here we go. As you can see, I've um, opened up trusty old Google Maps. So let's take a look at whereabouts our stadium is in London. So as you can see, we're actually across the road from a, a very decent pub by the looks of it. So I can have my pre-match Pepsi there. There's uh, probably a, a post-match Pepsi. But or we'll, oh, I'll throw out the boat. A post-match uh, Tango if we win. Obviously, if we lose, I'm just going to go back home. God knows what I'm saying. Because uh, I'll probably just... Um, well, we just end up sleeping in the club bus. So let's take a look at let's take a a closer look of our stadium. Obviously, I think this is the closest way we're gonna have to look at it. So obviously, where is our stadium? Oh, here it is. So as you can see, we do share our stadium with Bedfont and Belton Football Club. I think it's just Bedfont Football Stadiums. But as you can see. There is a football stadium. That's the pretty much as close as we can get to it. I don't think there's any way we can look at it any closer because I think it is pretty much over there behind the fences, or that might be it here. Is there any way we can get any closer? No, no. This is pretty much as close to it as possible. And if you want any closer look at how close we are to Heathrow Airport, let's just go down here. Go to the end of this road. Oh, boom. There you go. There you go. That's a, believe it or not, I presume that's a British Airways plane. I, we're not sponsored by British Airways, but if we do go to any overseas away games in the Champions League, obviously that's who we will be flying with. So hopefully, who knows, when when the time comes, when we reach the Champions League, uh, let's um, we'll obviously fly with British Airways. But in the meantime, Let's go and win our first game of the season. Here we go, the lineup for our first match of the season will be Hadley in goal, a back four of Sinclair, James, Ombud, Hill, Moore on the right, Chambers on the left, then we've got a midfield partnership of McLaren and Butler. Is Butler in a... Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll probably change it around, but at the moment, yes, he is in his best position. It's the one at the top anyway. Then we've got a strike partnership of Jeffrey Broom and D Duran Tabraham. So, I, I can't really make any predictions. We'll, we'll just see how this game goes. We might win. We might get absolutely annihilated. We'll see how this game goes. If we can get it, I'll, I'll absolutely take a draw. I really should have um, sorted out my subs bench because I'm not sure what sort of positions we're on. Jesus Christ, this is incredibly slow. I think that probably should be fine. We'll go to key highlights. Camera is TV. Then after the camera height as the minimum as, po as possible. Camera zoom on the maximum. That's fine. The match speed, uh, we'll put that um, onto the maximum as well. Hopefully that game speed should be fine. Hopefully, because um, we're, we're in a quite small stadium. As it happened to me, yeah, on the um, Football Manager, Hopefully the aliens don't arrive. We sh Duran should have really put that opportunity in the back of the net. Why do we have the Champions League results? We don't need that at all because we're not in the Champions League. Let's just put our... Yeah, we'll, we'll have our league um, loaded up here as a result. We don't need to look at the league table just yet because we, we don't need to know that at all. Not until like the final... 10 games left of the season or so. But see, we might maybe, maybe by Christmas we can start looking at the league table. Chambers has got the ball here, passes it to Hill. Can we get the ball upfield? No, we're, we're not. We're passing the ball around the back, which is fine. I'd rather do that than uh, lose the ball. Spencer Moore has got the ball here, has the chance to cross it. Durant is in the box, goes down, no penalty. Oh. Frustrated, but we should be one to up there. Moose has a chance for Yeatley, and that's a good save from Danny Had 
Daddy, Darren? Daddy had the, right. Just so we don't get confused. Daddy, not Darren. I'll probably keep saying that every game now, but um, I know I'm going to get confused, but that's the way this game goes. I don't know the players' names. Right, come on, let's defend this corner once again. Been quite good at defending corners so far, so hopefully we can keep this up. I think if we can get into our time, nil nil, that's not a bad result. I will happily take that in our first game of the season. Obviously, with the squad not looking too good, but okay at this level, I think we'll be fine. Right, the eight league have got a goal kick. What are they going to do here? Well done. That's a great header from Tamer Hammer. I mean, that's, he does look like a. A quite a tall player. Oh, we could have been one of them, but one of up, but Broom was offside. How tall is our goalkeeper? We'll have a look after this game or at half time. Come on, can we um can we get a goal before half time? But oh, I will happily take it goal at half time. That's not really a bad scoreline. Hill Chambers, let's get the ball upfield. That's poor from Chambers, but what do you expect? That tears head, Jack. Do you expect like Rabonas keeping ups? Arabia Flitz? No, no. I very much doubt that at this level. Spencer Moore has a chance to cross it. He does. Broom is in the middle. Taper have McLaren puts the ball into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to the mighty old British Airways. Hmm. That's my celebration of the aeroplane. I'm not sure if you saw that on camera. If um, I might have been out of shot, but that's my celebration. Hmm. Come on. Yes, brilliant work. Come on, lads. Chambers. That's the chance to whip in the corner. He does. That's not a bad. That's not. A, it's not a bad whippage. Could have uh, been better if he found a British Airways head. And there is to have his first goal of the season. Uh, what a header that was. He's a, he's a big boy, isn't he? How tall is he? Six, six foot seven. And you can't teach that. I is he a poacher or is he a target man? I do not know. We're playing him as a poacher. Obviously, what's he like as a target forward? One star, one and a half star. Obviously, with a poacher, he's two stars. So I think poacher is probably his best role. But at corners, he is going to be a threat. I tell, I'm telling you that. Right, I think we'll yeah we'll make a sub. I'm not sure if we can get anyone on. Um, Hill is looking tired. So we'll get on. We do need another left back. So more is going to come on for him. I know you're going to, I know you're right, right back, but obviously you're just going to have to play now. You just have to put it up. Like I think, um, I think that's probably it for now. We probably should have a goalkeeper on the bench because at this level, we're only five subs. You don't need a goalkeeper on the bench. Obviously, if he if he gets injured, then you're screwed. You really are. But that's the way non-league goes. I don't tend to have a goalkeeper on the bench when I'm doing these kind of saves. I've never done these kind of saves, so I don't really know what I'm talking, talking about. Broom has a chance to get a third goal here. Oh, so close. Oh, that would have been beautiful if we could have found a third goal, but I suspect that won't be the final chance of a game. Jesus Christ. The eighth today. What? Who, who was that with their opportunity? I feel like it was like, DC or someone like that, but what an opportunity that was for them. If that had gone into the back of a net, end of the save, and there it is, Tom Chambers does find the third goal of the day. What a start to the season this is going to be. Obviously, this is only the first game. We could go downhill from uh, from here, but I very much doubt that. I very much I think, I reckon we will easily finish mid-table. We're not going to we're not going to be in a relegation battle. Obviously, we're not going to go up. <laughs> um, I'm saying this now, but we're not going to go up. So fast forward uh, three or four episodes time, we might be in a promotion battle, but I very much doubt that's going to happen. McLennan has got a goal back for Yatley. Let's not, um, let's not worry about that too much, but... They have got one goal back, so who knows, they might make a comeback. Um, Duran is going to come off for uh, Blackman. Um, what's his best position? Not really, he's not really good enough to start, but he can come on. And I think for the final change will be, don't really want to get off Umba because he's, 
he's the best centre back there. But I think we are going to. I don't think we're going to throw away a two goal lead, but fingers crossed we don't now that I've taken off my best centre back. Obviously, if that does happen, um, I'm going to take the blame for the um, the draw. But hopefully, um, Gately are running out of time. I don't think there's any time to score two more goals. There's four minutes left to play, and we are closing in on our first ever win in the Tier 10 League. Come on, get in there, baby. Let's go. Brilliant, lads. Well, well done, lads. What a result. That is a free one win absolutely beautiful and that does put us second in the league but let's not let's not let's not look at the table let's not get too far ahead of ourselves so duran 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 six foot seven you can't teach that absolutely it's a beautiful name as well absolutely superb right let's hopefully carry on our 100 percent winning mentality against Brookhouse so no new signings ahead of our game against Brookhouse so this is the lineup pretty much a unchanged 11 barring Blackman does come in for the, for the striker broom who uh, there will be a lot of rotation this season I'm barely sure I'm barely sure this might be the strongest team with broom up front but at this game just broom Blackman coming in for broom that's the only change going into this game let's go and win our second match of the episode. It'd be absolutely amazing if we can win our, win our first two. But winning one of them, absolutely always the plan. There, there was never a plan, but I'm just saying there is. But let's go and beat Brooke House. I'm not sure who the hell they are. I'm not sure where they play. Farm Park, uh, uh, 3000 Capacity Stadium. I very much doubt that. There's like nobody here. There's like... 100 people, I want to say, but well, minimum 100. Arusi has a chance for Brook Krauss, but and he does put them in the lead. So, I mean, I've got to be honest with you, before the match, um, my sister recommended we go very defensive. I did not listen to him. Maybe, maybe I should have, but we're not, we're not going to go very defensive. Not at this stage of the season. Maybe if we were in a relegation battle, which we're not, well, not yet, but we could be, but. I'm not going very defensive. That's not the sort of manager I am. I'm all about the attacking mentality. Obviously, we're not playing attacking. We're, good. we're staying on balance for this season. Obviously, if we get to that stage of the season where we are winning pretty easily, obviously, we will switch to a positive mentality. More has a chance to shoot. He does, but it's just wider for goal. Perhaps he maybe should have looked for a, um, a cutback, but I don't think it was really anyone in the box waiting for it so i think the shot was probably the right option but it was just not really right but on another day it could have been very easily gone into the back of a net hill chambers come on that's this at the back corner duran come on come on duran they're all six foot seven of you we're all james go on oh that's nice it's a it's wasted but we've still got the opportunity butler come on let's get the ball into the box umba that's again that's poor you're one of the most experienced centre backs ever but oh we're lucky we are lucky there we could have very easily been 2 0 down we have the chance to go on a cut i wouldn't say a counter attack but we had the chance to but we have oh we need to defend this corner well done hadley well done danny brilliant brilliant catch that is he kicks it upfield to chambers come on oh blackman come on Reed has got the ball here. Can we get the tackle in? No, we don't. Owens is in the middle. We clear it. Only as far as Blackman. Can we get the ball up for him? We do. Chambers, go on. Let's just run down the ring. Just show us what you made of. Like McLaren. Blackman, go on. Moore. Go on. This is looking promising. Chambers, what a pass for that is from Darren Moore. Darren Moore? No. Spen Darren Moore's the portfolio manager. Spencer Moore, my mistake. What a goal that is. Um, who scored? Uh, Tom Chambers, I believe it was. Absolutely a beautiful goal. Tom Chambers has got a free kick. Come on. He can raise the roof. Oh, it's another deflected goal. That's two for him. Absolutely brilliant, that is. Takes a wicked deflection, but I don't care. It does hit the post as well. But it doesn't matter because we are 2-1 up. He's got another free kick here. Chambers. 
my good god, <laughs> very easily. It, it just a couple inches to the left. That would have been in the top right hand corner. I mean, what a first half that has been. One nil down. We go into half time two one up. Absolutely superb. I will hundred percent take the win all day long. Also, oh, I'll, I'll take a draw as well. I don't really care what the result is. McLaren, Durant, go on. More. This is looking promising. Spend some more. Go on. Oh, so close for Sped. Sped, doggy dog. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'd love it if Moore can get a goal. Is he up? Uh, is he homegrown? I don't think he. I don't think he was at homegrown at British Airways. He came through the Youth Academy at Sheffield uh, United. So, not bad. Not a bad place to start off your career. And Brooke has have got an equaliser from Jack Harris. I mean, if any player called Jack, they're they're going to be good. That's not because my name is Jack. Um, that's just a, that's just a fact of life. Right. I will right, make some more subs. At, we'll make some subs after this highlight. More at the back post. He can't quite get his head out onto the ball. Very, very good. Um, very good opportunity. Can we get the ball out? Well, come on, let's get tackle in, please. Go on, put the pressure on. Somebody. Obviously, we're not playing Gengar press, so they're not really going to put the pressure on. That's a good save from Danny Hadley. Very good save to put the ball out for a corner. We are. Going to make some substitutions. I think Stephen Graham can come on for... Get him on for McLaren. He could be a box-to-box. -box. Can't really play centre mid, but he's going to play there for now. And I think we will also get off Tom Chambers for Ben Reddy. Again, what is he? He's a left winger by trade. Um, he can play left mid, so he's going to be a winger. Can't play there, but he's going to... He's going to have to. When you're down at this level, you should really be able to play in every position. We nearly got a third goal. If we had got that, I reckon we'll go on to win the match. Oh, Blackburn, what a free kick that is. I'm not sure if it was on target, but what save from the Brookhouse goalkeeper to deny the goal? Hill whips in the corner. Oh, come on. Come on, Hill. Back in the box. That's not bad. Duran, all six foot seven of him, does get his head onto it, but... Is now just his head is narrowly over the top of the crossbar. I do believe we can get a third goal here, but obviously we are running out of time. We are going to make one more change, and that will will be Dominic Sinclair off for Alan Moore. Right, come on, lads. Fifteen minutes left to play. We're not going to bother doing any shouts because the results don't really matter at this stage of the season. Blackman with a free kick. He can really raise the roof off with a free kick here. If he can score, he does it. Ready? That's a chance to shoot. He does. He does take another deflection. All three of our goals have taken slight deflections. That took a pretty big deflection. I thought Blackman was going to have a have a shot, but he lays it off to Ready. Uh, what a goal! That is top left hand corner with the help of the deflection. What a what a match this has been. Oh, one no doubt. Back to two one two all. Oh, now three two up. With three minutes left to play. If we can end this episode. Top of the league. Absolutely fantastic. Obviously only two games to play. So we, could, uh, we might be down bottom by the by the next episode. But hopefully that does happen. Oh my god. What was the goalkeeper doing there? He just like literally flung himself. A couple of meters. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. It's tier 10 for you. But. Oh. Come on lads. Uh, three minutes. Well a couple of minutes left to play. Three all. That's, I'll take that 100% all day long. I'll take a free old draw against Brookhouse. It's not a bad result. We probably were the underdogs going into that game, hence in why the assistant suggested um, going very defensive. But it's a good result, free all. Not too bad. Another day. We could have very easily won that. But I'll take a draw. We're 100% unbeaten so far. Obviously, we've only played two games, but it's not a bad place to be. I'd rather be in the top. Top half and bottom, like Penn and Tyler's Green. Rather be like them than uh, I would not rather be like them. I'd rather be in the top half, yeah, that's, which is where we are, which is hopefully where we should stay for this season. Obviously, if we do drop down to the bottom half, that's pres I presume that's because we've um, lost some, some of our players, but I'm sure, we'll, I'm sure we'll have some new players in time for the next episode because as you can see, Squad is looking quite slim, obviously. I think we are probably looking out for another striker, maybe a few centimetres, probably another left-back. I'd say we will sign another left-back. 
probably could do with another set. Probably could do with uh, at least five more players. Remember what we have to by the next episode, but that doesn't really matter. We're in non league. There is no transfer window, I don't think. I don't think there is a transfer window. Which we have got some offers in for player Josh Pike, left back, and two centimeters. Not sure if they'll come in, but we shall find out. So I think I probably won't leave it too long until the next episode. So I think uh, we're not. I'm not going to bother showing you the FA Files game because it's against Wick. They're, a, they're in the Southern Combination League Division 1, which I think, yeah, level 10, same same tier as us, obviously not same league, so should be winning that game fairly comfortably, I think. So I will see you all in the next episode where we hopefully will still be in the top half of the table and we'll be playing against Rising Ballers, Kensington and a home match against Hillington Borough. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Telephone Manager videos and thank you very much for watching.